Paul, you're not supposed to be here yet. Oh, yes, I am. It's my first day, actually. But don't take my word for it. Mmm. Oh, I get it. You're drinking a pumpkin spice latte. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Original. It's so nice. I think I'm going to go for a swim. I'll time you. Three, Look two, at this. Okay. one. Oh, sh no, nope, not doing that. That is freezing cold. Little chilly. What happened? How long have you been on this beach? I don't know. What was the last thing you remember? Laupalooza? I don't know. That was over a month ago. Oh, no, I flew by again. This happens every year. And I just got my calves right. Uh -huh. And there's so much I didn't post on Instagram. Good times and tan lines. <laughs> Bratwurst or legs. Summertime and the living is OMG. I can't with myself. Sunshine emoji, daiquiri emoji. I only posted five fish pics. This can't be true. It is. Come now. Let me show you. Where are we going? <laughs> He's an Emmy-winning journalist, the host and creator of the popular YouTube channel Manitowoc Minute, and now Charlie Barron's is a New York Times best-selling author for his book, The Midwest Survival Guide. This weekend, he kicks off his uh, stand-up tour in support of his book with a few sh stops here in the Chicago area, one in Waukegan, one in Joliet. Charlie Barron's, how hey, are Charlie. you, buddy? How are you? You guys you know doing good? We're doing good, except why is it I feel like we always talk to you after we lose to the Packers? It's just <laughs> not right. You know, I think that's by design. Um, I'm trying to think the last time the Bears beat the Packers. <laughs> it's just, it, you know, I, I don't know. I don't oh. make the rules. I just play the game. Yeah. Well, now that you're a best-selling author, has that changed your life? Are you a snob now? Yeah, absolutely. I am a snob. Look at this. See that? See that pinky? Whoa. Yeah, are you drinking a latte now? No, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, well, it's black coffee actually. But yeah. um, this was from um, maybe a pottery barn. It looks like. Oh yeah. So Ooh. You're fancy that's now. Something. Yeah. Yeah. So, totally. So now that are you planning on staying in Milwaukee? Or are you going to move to L.A. Be you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Yeah. L.A. I'm moving to the coast. I'm going to be a snob. It's all done. I'm leaving Milwaukee now on a jet plane. No, I want to take it back. I'm not leaving Milwaukee. I love Milwaukee. Uh, this I got from a garage sale. So I, everything <laughs> rest assured. It's fine. It's fine. What is the Midwest goodbye? Oh, you know, I'm glad you brought that up. Okay. I, I, I'll have, first, I'm going to start with a question for the two of you. Have you ever experienced what you think might be a Midwest goodbye? Yeah, it never stops, right? People just keep being nice. Exactly. And it's sounding like you've ex you must have had to call a medical professional because you experienced the Midwest goodbye lasting more than four hours. <laughs> and, that, that, and you got to know the proper steps. You got to know the proper steps. Yeah. yeah, they never say goodbye. They, they uh, uh, and you got it starts with a slap on the knee and saying, well, I suppose. OK, that's <laughs> That's how you politely tell someone you don't want to be there anymore. <laughs> but they don't get the picture at oh. all. So there, there are several steps that you got to do. And of course, one includes turning down the leftovers, you know, because you don't want those leftovers. Uh, you know, that tuna casserole, you're pretty sure that was raccoon in the casserole. <laughs> and, you know, you got to say like, oh, no, I'm fine. But in the Midwest, they see your, oh, no, I'm fine. And they raise you a, no, I insist. Hey, oh. you know? Then you're out of moves. So you <laughs> they, so they get their best Tupperware out, you know, which is just to use Cool Whip container and yeah. you're to go. <laughs> That's so, yeah. right. Hey, what, yeah. do you, what do you think about meteorologists in the Midwest? It's a tough job, right? Well, it is a tough job, it, and I feel bad for, for the meteorologist. I'm actually glad you brought this up because I, I was talking about once before, and, and I'm, look, here's the thing. They spend their entire professional career studying satellite data, you know, the Doppler radar, the, the farmer's almanac, and then when they get the weather right, do we give them any credit? I know you, you guys do. You know, you're in the biz, yeah. but do the rest of us give them credit? No. Uh-uh. Yeah. And we should, but we don't. What we say is, oh, yeah, yeah, I knew that storm was coming. I could feel it in my right knee. You know? <laughs> my left big toe started clicking. I, I knew that yeah. tornado was coming, you know? And, and so I just, I feel like we owe a greater debt to our meteorologists. That's, and, that's and they get all me. the blame when they get it wrong, too, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, exactly. When the weather isn't the, the way they, they say, no one ever says, 
Oh, my arthritis wasn't acting up. But, you know, no one blames their arthritis on wrong weather. <laughs> oh. uh, Charlie, thanks. You can see Charlie Barron tomorrow night at the Coronado Performing Arts Center in Rockford. And he'll also be in Waukegan Saturday and in Joliet Sunday at the Rialto Square Theater. For tickets and more information, uh, there is the information on your screen. And, Charlie, i got to say, it was nice when the Vikings beat the Packers. Just saying. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Dagger through my heart. I, I hope that felt good. I hope that felt good. Yeah, it did. Thanks, Charlie. Yeah. All right. See you. Hey, Paul. Hey, you